Hi, we're Fruit Speed and we are going to be talking about playgrounds. Whoever need to know about playgrounds, ask us. We're the experts. Why are we experts? Because we've been studying them all year. We're going to show you what playgrounds we've been to. We hope you get to be inspired by some of these playgrounds that we're going to show you today. And maybe you can go to some of these playgrounds too. called Imagination. We go there every day for recess. It's near Blue School. Most people know it at Blue School. There's blue blocks. They're really mm -hmm. cool like blocks and... You can build houses and you can build structures. What Basically anything. There's a wood ramp and they can come from two sides and there's like a slide that you can take down. Also on top of the red tower, we play Gaga ball. Also in the there's summer, um, um, there's water. The oil shoots up. Yeah, like it shoots up from these little holes. Would you recommend that people go there? Yes. Yeah. It's a good playground. It's a really good playground. This playground is called Pearl Street, and it's not one of the biggest playgrounds. It's one of the smaller playgrounds. And if you have a younger brother or a younger sister, you might want to take them there. We don't usually go to Pearl Street because it's a little a playground. We like doing the twisting ropes because um, it's hard, but it can also be f quite fun. I like the challenge. You might want to go to Pearl Street because, like, if you like slides, you might like the twisty slide. This playground is Evelyn's Playground in Union Square. It was a really fun playground. There was two areas, one area for big kids and one area for little kids. The little kid area is only for five and younger, mm -hmm. so... We could play on that. There's a really cool dome at everyone's playground, and the best way to climb it up is you have to get a running start. And what happens when you get to the top? You can s stay there or slide down. A few children up there that help people who are climbing it to get up to the top. So you need a little bit of teamwork? And, and yes. some of us couldn't make it up, but some of us could. This baby thing, you can, um, you hold on to the bars right here, and then um, a grown up can spin you, and it, it goes around, and it's really fun. And you should go to Ellen's playground. playground. The playground was inspired by the Domino Sugar Factory, which was right across the street. And lots of parts of the playground had like, pipes from the factory and windows and sometimes they had doors. This is our little playground and there are a lot of cool things to do like go down the big slide and climb up the tree house and like look out the window and look over the view you can see like the water and then there is this, this another one of these big towers and there's and choose right here. And then there's a big rope that goes up to a slide over here. And then you can go down into here where there's like a ladder down there. There are a lot of cool things to do. Um, on the tree house, you can climb up the chimney. You can look out the windows. You can slide down the slides. And you can, and there's a ladder that goes up. So we thought overall we liked to chase people and a climb a lot, a lot of climbing. Did we want to go back there after? Yes. yes. Yes, a lot of us went there after that, like I did. Do you think kids at Blue School should go there too? Yes. It's um, mm -hmm. at, in Williamsburg. You take the ferry there. This playground is called Chelsea Waterside. There is a ginormous slide that goes really far down. It's like two floors up in this building. Um, 
and there's like seaweed over here. And this playground is, um, the theme is underwater. So there's like a sea, sea snake here, um, right there. And then there's shells because it's underwater theme. And then when you slide down the slide, you land into sand. First, we loved it because the slide was their favorite part. Because it went like, like it flying off. The slide was big enough to fit the like, two person, but if you want, you can like go in three Z. It's like the seaweed are sprinklers in the summertime. The sprinklers go off because it's the theme's underwater, so it's like, why don't you have sprinklers? And it's a really, really fun playground. You know all the playgrounds that are like like made out of stuff that are like other stuff. We went to a playground that was made out of a sculpture and we played on it. When we went to the playground, we just saw this, like we saw a person. But when we got closer up, we saw little people and this is a ladder and then these are slides. And at the bottom of the slide, there's a foot and there's like little hidden people. There's also a ladder to get into the head. Um, I mean, the head, when you get into the head, it kind of like feels like you're in jail because there's like gates. They built the structure way out of New York and then they had to unsemble assemble it and then put it in a truck and then when they got to New York, they had to rebuild it. That's how Tom Otternis came to New York. Tom Otternis actually has like an exhibit in the subway station. He's inspired by money and people. Yeah, and like little, sometimes animals, because sometimes in the sculpture there's like crocodile coming out, and, like, and, and it's money. like in the, in like sewers. We went to the subway before we went to the um, playground, because we had to go on to the subway to go to the playground. We love, we love this playground and we'll thank you, you Will, too. too. We also made a big book of all of our playground reviews. And if you want to see it, you could come to our classroom on the fifth floor, which is first B. We did like star rating, age range, best floor, challenging aspect, most unique feature. We're the experts, so if, if you have any questions, um, we can answer them. Bye, thank you for watching.